Hey guys, for some of y'all that have been following for a while, may remember back to January, February, March, somewhere in there when I was growing the squash in the greenhouse, I was growing the uh, yellow straight neck, just a regular summer squash, and uh, they came out really well, but the thing that I had to do, uh, I had to pollinate them manually, and when they first came out, they came out with a bunch of uh, females, I think, and I had no male blossoms to pollinate them with. So the early production, I really didn't get anything. So one of the things that you can do when you have problems uh, like that, uh, where your your flowers don't come out at the same time, or you don't have any bees around, you can go to something called a uh, parthenocarpic. Basically, it's a plant that's been uh, engineered to uh, produce fruit without outside pollination. And what I have right here is some uh, Parthenon squash. It's called squash, but to me it's zucchini. For a lot of people, squash, zucchini, it's the same thing. Uh, you can actually get some of these things that are yellow. They look uh, like a yellow zucchini. But it's interesting. I've got four plants here. One, two, three, four. And what I have been doing to make sure that this little uh, test worked, I've pulled off any uh, male blossoms that I saw. They haven't had very many, but I pulled them off. And there's nothing around here close by that uh, could have pollinated these. And they have done pretty good. For the four plants, there's the first one. This is the second one. He's he's the lagger, but you see a lot more small ones, so there'll be plenty more on there. This is number three. He's already made and got another one coming. And number four, that's a little bit bigger than I'd like to have, but it'll be just fine. And got a few more coming on there. So I'm liking what I see so far. Uh, these seeds are not not exactly cheap. But for my purpose of uh, trying to grow them in the greenhouse, trying to get production and not having to worry about uh, pollination, and for somebody else who just wants some squash and doesn't have but a little bit of space and may not have bees around to help and doesn't uh, want to worry with uh, hand pollination, this might be something to look into. I think they're going to be pretty good.